In this video, we're in Microsoft Excel, and I want to look at how to deal with gaps or zeros in your data when you're creating charts. So you can see that for March, August, and November, I have missing data. And by default, this is how Excel will draw the line graph. Basically, where I have gaps in the data, I have gaps in the line. Now, to fill those gaps, you might think of putting in zeros where you have a gap in your data. But now we're assuming that these missing data points are all zeros, and that might not be the case. So I'll undo that. What you can actually do is ask Excel to ignore the missing data points. And to do that, you select the chart, go to Chart Design, then select Data, and then click on this button, Hidden and Empty Cells. Show empty cells as, you can see the default is gaps, which is why we have gaps here. But if I choose this third option, connect data points with line, click on OK, and then OK again. If I select the line, you can see it's basically ignored the March data point. It's ignored the August data point and the November data point. OK, let's move on to a second scenario. In this scenario, we have an additional column called versus target. And all I've done here is compare the result with the target. So for January, we're one above the target. The formula is very simple. Result minus the target. Now where I have missing data, I always get a minus eight. And you can see that reflected down here in the chart. Now really, I just want to ignore the missing data rather than perform this calculation. So to get around that, I might use an if statement. And I would test whether the result cell is blank. And I can do that using the isBlank function. isBlank C4. My value of true, well, let's try returning an empty text string. Value of false is the original formula. And I'll copy this down. Now, how does Excel interpret those empty text strings in my chart? Well, let's select the line, and then I'll go to the March data point. And you can see it's returned a value of zero. Now, what I want to do is ignore the data point. And the way to get Excel to do that when you have a formula in a column is to return the NA error. So instead of returning this empty text string, I'm going to use the NA function to return the NA error. Now if I copy this down, I get an NA error instead of an empty text string. Now the chart isn't quite what I want just yet, but if I select it, go back to chart design, back to select data, and then to hidden and empty cells, if I untick this option, show NA as an empty cell, click on OK, and then OK again. And if I select the line, you can see it's ignored the March data point, the August data point, and the November data point. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.